Hello you all and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be exercising three of the horses here at our farm. This day was a very chilly March day so it was a little bit chilly so that's why I'm wearing a big heavy coat and all the trees are dead. I know it's kind of coming out in the summer months but it was actually cold when this was filmed, I have to catch up on some of my filming. So yeah, little disclaimer there. But the first horse that we're going to be exercising is Misty Diamond. Misty, I think she's a two-year-old and she um, is a gorgeous filly. She has a gorgeous coat pattern and she's super smart. So I am just doing some of the basic groundwork training with her and getting the saddle pad and the saddle on her and then she will be sold to someone to be able to train her. So Misty is super sweet. I love her personality and she's super willing and super smart. So today we just worked in the barn hallway because like I said it's quite chilly and we did some flexing on her neck. I picked up all her feet and um, just did some little exercises with her, like disengaging the hindquarters and some turns, so different yields like that, and brushing her and loving on her and just spending time with her to get her used to people and used to new objects. Pretty soon she'll be getting the saddle pad and the saddle on her and also learning about the bridle, but just getting her out and tying her up and doing some different exercises and brushing her. Um, just gets them super calm and used to going out and doing their job for a little while and then getting to go back out into the pasture. Okay, so the next horse that I had to exercise was Joker. This is one of my first sessions working with Joker at home. We just brought him um, home to our farm. So I just wanted to do some easy things with him like lunging some walk circles around me and walking him around with the bridle on just to get him used to the training area and get him used to me walking him around and used to his new location. He did pretty good and after this he um, was tied up for a while to learn to stand tied patiently. He did paw a couple times but he is going to be learning to be more patient when tied up and get used to people messing with him every day. I would also like to apologize for the tire in the camera frame. I apparently did not have my tripod, so don't know why that's there. Okay, so the first two horses that we exercised were actually horses that I was working on training things with, but now we get to move to the more seasoned horse. Um, Chief, so it's time to ride Chief. I got him all brushed off and tacked up. We just rode in our little farm saddle. And during the winter and spring months, it is often hard to find a pretty day to ride where it's not too muddy to ride. And then the mud dries and it's quite, makes the ground hard and has holes in it. So it's very nice to get a good ride in when I can, Chief also gets a little bit stiff in the spring. Um, he is on a joint supplement and that helps a lot, but it's good to keep him moving and keep his joints moving so that he doesn't get so stiff. I had a great ride around the farm on him and I got some footage just to show you what my typical rides around the farm look like. These next clips of our rider in two times the speed so that you guys can see um, a good part of our ride without having to be bored by Chief's very slow walk.
Okay, and that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you guys liked this type of video. And it was a lot of fun to exercise three horses in one day. I usually don't do that. But it was fun to take you guys along and show you how we exercise them. I have more videos coming out soon. So don't forget to stay tuned for those. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! Chief was such a good boy, so of course when we finished he had to have his little treats, he loves these.